Hi, I'm Bree Balchunas, and this is the Orlando Health News Review for October 21st. Last week, Mr. Arnold Palmer was on site to announce the donation of $5 million to establish the hospital's pediatric bone marrow transplant and cellular therapy program. We spoke with Liz Bradley, who will work in the unit, to learn more. So currently when patients need a bone marrow transplant, they have to travel to an outside facility. They're leaving behind the nurses, the physicians that they've grown comfortable with. So with the addition of the program here, they'll be able to stay in a familiar environment close to their family and their support system. This donation comes from Roy and Dee Haley, who have been longtime contributors to our organization. So when we heard about the donation from the Haley family, everybody was overwhelmed. It was such a generous gift, um, and as an oncology program, we'll be able to offer more comprehensive care to our patients and their families. Construction is expected to begin in 2016 and will be located on the fourth floor of Arnold Palmer Hospital. Next, Orlando Health's Katie Henderson received the 2015 Rising Star Award from the Asian American Chamber of Commerce. This award is presented annually to those who positively impact the Central Florida community. I think the reason why I love working for Orlando Health so much is because we are family and community based and so um, it's all the values that we have as team members that make you want to not just do what you do at work but also outside of work in the community. I knew from 13 years old that I wanted to be a physical therapist. I did rhythmic gymnastics with the ribbon and the ball and hoop. I was injured and I couldn't compete and then just the care that that physical therapist took and her interest in me as a person was what I think inspired me to want to help others. She brought me back so I could go to the Olympic training camp and you know you see on a daily basis how you're affecting people's lives and they're going back to work and going back to sports and doing things that they love to do and that's tremendous. I mean that's the biggest gift that you can get I think as a therapist. Finally, benefits open enrollment for 2016 is just around the corner beginning November 2nd through November 16th. This is the time of year when team members can make voluntary changes to their enrollment elections. Open enrollment information sessions will be held around the organization beginning November 2nd. Watch for more details on SWIFT. That's it for today's edition. For the Orlando Health News Review, I'm Brie Balchunas.